Hi, this is Ali Sharma, and in this video, we are going to unbox the Volcara Airwolf 200 SD3 fly wireless helicopter, three bladed main rotor head, and three blades tail rotor. It's supposed to come with Dimension 8 radio, which I already have, so I just got a PNP version. Let's take it out of the box and see what's inside. This is how it was packed inside the box. Now, let me take this sweet little baby out and uh, line up the stuff that came inside the box okay this was what inside the box something more to go to my chargers collection a balance charger for the battery the spare parts or I would say the machine guns a battery let me see what size the battery is a lipo battery okay it's 7.4 volt 1500 mh well i believe i have got a very good 7.4 volt batteries for this helicopter i just don't like the uh, connector so i just solder a new one on both escs and the helicopter a user manual cd and instructions on how to set up your dimension 7 on dimension 8 radio i don't know what this is i have to find out it should be something belong to battery tray and one Airwolf helicopter, three bladed main rotor head, and three bladed tail rotor head. Basically, I feel that it might be the same thing inside which was inside the llama uh, from Volcara, but hey, this canopy, I mean, the Airwolf shell looks really nice. And of course, for the lover of Airwolf, like myself, I would simply love to keep this helicopter. Let's take a closer look. Well, excuse the construction sounds. There's lots of construction going on because lots of family to move in this area. Let's look at the Airwolf helicopter from Volcara. This is the 200 SD3 Airwolf from Volcara. Um, apart from the outer look, which is really, really nice, very scaled, um, but it's still not that scale because there, there could be possible copyright things that they didn't go with complete Airwolf look. But hey, this is very, very authentic and very nice look for the Airwolf lovers. Many lights on your Airwolf. I haven't put the uh, machine guns yet on this one. My expectations on this helicopter when it came were very, very high. Uh, I wasn't disappointed actually uh, after seeing it. It's a small, the only thing I was thinking that it would be big, but 200 size is a small size for me. However, still, this is a good helicopter to fly indoors or outdoors, I would say. Now, uh, for the canopy uh, or the shell that we are looking at, looks like the material is harder compared to the other helicopters that I have seen with the shell. Their shell was really, really soft. So this shell is a bit harder in its nature, I would say, when actually you touch it. So uh, I believe it would take few crashes if you want to crash. The other thing is the uh, bottom area is all open, uh, well battery will definitely fit, fit inside and of course there was one more piece uh, which I have to see what it has to do with the battery. I was expecting this to have retracts, okay, but I believe these are not retracts. These are fixed landing gears, if they would be retracts, this thing will be totally authentic, cool looking helicopter, Airwolf helicopter. Well, it's a new Volcara 3G system installed inside, so let's see what kind of performance this helicopter will give us. On the outlets or exhaust of the turbines, they have put the red lights to create an effect, which is a good thing once again. Now, apart from the outer looks, the looks and the build quality, very good build quality on the head, I would say, main rotor head, all CNC aluminum parts. I would see how this thing will actually fly outdoors and then we will call it a real good machine depending on its looks and its performance. And the tail rotor system is the torque tube. Awesome. Now this is how it looks after everything was added. The spare parts given in a simple package. Machine guns added. Back fins added on the tail fuselage. Or tail boom, I would say. 
antennas on the front. I hope they are the antennas on the real helicopter added. And of course machine guns on the right. And here is a good shot for airwolf lovers. So stay tuned and uh, very very soon I will post the videos of this helicopter and see how this helicopter behaves. Or and we have to see if this helicopter is good for beginners and all those airwolf lovers.